Luke here at the Agro Boys YouTube channel and me and my son Jake, we're taking my snow dog out into the wilderness of Alaska to go winter camping in a hammock hot tent. We're gonna be eating some amazing food, having a great time, and trying not to get eaten by wolves. Come along for the ride, it's gonna be a good time. Buddy, you ready to go? Well, this looks like a promising spot, but let's find out what's under the snow. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make another hole. So, we're gonna make the hole bigger. Shit, my hands exactly right. Can I dump it? Yeah. As big as a large tent. Do you like this hole? Hey, in. Do it. Do you got the can? Can you can one? Yeah, it. Daddy, look, we just come in and get one. Yeah, come in here. What do you think, Jake? Is this a nice tent? All right, Jake, should we go get some firewood? You got a perfect place? Piece of firewood. Oh yeah, that's a nice dead tree right there. Dad, you're putting so much stuff on my swale. <laughs> boy. Can you take this one back? Yeah. All right. You're like a little snowshoe hare. You can float right on the snow. Oh, 
Okay. We got a nice bison hide here. Help make it nice and cozy. It's the homey touches that make a difference. Scoot up over here. Oh, you got tons of snow on your butt. Yeah, I got, oh yeah, there you go. Well, Jake, you hungry? You want me to get some food going? How about hot dogs? Does that sound good? Sure. All right, let's do it. Oh, look at this. That's how they used to dogs. All right. In Benicula. Wait, Daddy, oh, those for us. Those are for us. You want your bun warm? All right, you ready for a hot dog? All right. Hey, Apple. Is that a good hot dog? Yeah. You know what Daddy's gonna have on his hot dog? Sauerkraut. Here, try a little sauerkraut. <laughs> Some kids just don't appreciate pickled cabbage. The mustard on here. All right, two more hot dogs coming up. I have to be careful. No. Okay. I think Jacob's feeling better now. He's got some food in him. You a little bit cold, Jake? You're very cold. The stove isn't quite uh, heating this place up very well, is it? It gets you all warmed up. Now, just make sure you stay away from the stove. I don't want you to roll up against it. Yeah, it takes a little while to warm up a sleeping bag, right? Eh? Well, we got Jacob snuggled up in his bag, so I'm gonna start cutting some firewood. We need to get this fire properly going. So all this wood is wet and frozen, so we just put it up on top of here to dry, and then whenever we need to stoke the fire, we take from the dry pile. Well, the firewood's all cut, and I've got everything brought into the tent, and the sun's about to set. I think it's time to batten down the hatches and tuck it in for the night. All right, sun's starting to set, so I'm pulling out my lights for filming. I really like these bicycle lights. This is what I use for my flood lighting when I'm filming at night. And when I'm winter camping, I'm always filming at night. Woo, it's bright. Let the fireplace turned around so I can work on it a bit. You hear that? It's getting time, let's make some dinner. 
And I gotta get all the bison hairs out of my pot. All right, for dinner tonight, I'm making a traditional Swiss camping food, fondue. Traditional fondue is pretty simple. You melt a bunch of shredded cheese over a low heat, you add a splash of white wine, and then you dip whatever you want in it. Traditionally bread and potatoes and meat and stuff like that. Some cheeses work better than others. Fontina, Gouda, Gruyere are really good fondue cheeses. So I took a little bit of each and mixed it together. Now I'm not much of a wine drinker, so I just use white vinegar or white wine vinegar and you get the same results. It's, these little hot tent stoves actually work really well for making fondue because they're a nice temperature. Just want to add a little bit of cheese at a time. Don't throw it all in at once. I've got some veggies and meat I want to put in the fondue and I'm just going to stack these up on the stove. And let them warm up. Nice. Look at this, Jacob. Look at that. Hey, look at this, the cheese string. You want to try stuff? What do you think, bud? It's good? That's good. Whoa. Oh, whoa, you want some broccoli? Look at that. Over here, why don't you hold it like this? It's nice and toasty. Here's, you bring your, oh, that's so good. Brussels sprouts, got them seasoned with a little sea salt and olive oil. Oh, ho, ho. We got some meatballs. You want a meatball? Hey Jake, do you want some chocolate milk? Yeah, totally. Totally? All right. You gotta keep little boys happy, otherwise they won't go camping with me. That's my bedtime sippy cup. Good, try that out. Is that good? Icy cold chocolatey milk. Potatoes and cheese is an excellent combination. Wow, I am so full of cheese. <laughs> that was delicious, but I have got to stop eating. I am, I am full. <laughs> oh. All right, Jake, you want me to put you up in the hammock? All right, Jake, where are you? Oh, there you are. Are you, are you warm in there? Yeah. I got Jacob up in the hammock and we got dinner in our belly, so we're just hanging out and talking and enjoying an evening. Well, since you're awake, do you want to eat s'mores? <laughs> it's going to be a slow roast marshmallow. All right, check that beauty out. That is a good marshmallow right there. I got a little bottle of Hershey chocolate syrup here. Good Jake, you want that? I might have to take a bite. Mm. You think you like that? You all done? Oh. All right, Jake, you going to bed now? Mm. All right. Got this nice bottle of boiling water to keep my sleeping bag warm, but I'm not quite ready to go to bed, so uh, I'm just gonna put it right there. On that note, I think I'm gonna get my bed set up. Always try to put something in between the stove and my sleeping bag in case I roll around in the night. 
I don't want that sleeping bag even touching that stove. It'll melt a hole or worse yet, catch on fire. Go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, it's about 8 a.m. So I'm going to get the fire going and start getting some breakfast made. Before I get the stove lit, I've got to get some of the stuff put away, especially my sleeping bag. If my sleeping bag gets even close to the stove, it'll burn a hole. That actually happened on a camping trip about a year and a half ago, and it burned a hole right in the foot of my bag. It took five months to get it repaired. Ooh. Well, this is my first time using this hot tent and I've got kind of mixed feelings about it. Some of the big cons is that it's not that warm. It doesn't really seal up properly at the end, so it's a bit drafty. And this is really spacious for being only a one, maybe two man tent. So it's a large area to heat up. But that being said, it's a very unique hot tent and there really isn't anything else like it on the market. If you want a hot tent where you can string a hammock, this is kind of it. Also, you really shouldn't think of it as a tent. It's just a tarp with a stove jack on it. I bought this thing about a year ago, so I can't remember what I paid for it or where I bought it, but uh, I'll go ahead and put a link in the video description below in case anybody wants to learn more about it. Hey, Dick, you awake? You want to go back in the hammock? Okay, well, you jumped out last night. Will you promise not to do that again? Okay. There we go. Got to use my end reach to send a message to my wife, let her know we didn't get eaten by wolves. Some frozen oil. Bacon, eggs, and bagels. Hey, Jake, you want some bacon? Come up here. It's like feeding my pet moray eel. Mmm, that's good. All right, guys, now that we've got breakfast out of the way, I think it's time to clean up and get the sled packed up. Look at that. Just completely melted that. Oh. We're gonna try to bind up the wound here. Keep it from losing feathers on our way home. I think that'll be enough to just keep it safe. Well, she was a nice little shelter, but I think it's time to get this little boy home. Hey, Jake, you okay in there? Yeah. Woo. You ready to go home and kiss mommy? Yeah, too many times. Let's go home and see mama. Ugh. I'm going to get you too much, mommy. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Mm. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> Here, let me take him inside. I finished kissing you too much. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I do one of these campouts, I gotta dry out all my gear. So I have all these clamps around and I'll just clamp and hang up all my tents and my mats and my tarps. And it even works with buffalo hides.
All right, we got that hung up and drying. Got to pull out all my blades and let them dry before I put them away. I've got to go through and charge up all my headlamps, my camera lights, my GPS tracker, all that stuff. I use this 10 port USB block. You got to pull my saw apart and let it dry. Every time I do one of these videos, packing and unpacking, cleaning and repairing my gear takes up almost an entire day. It's like a whole process and I do it every week. I keep all my sleeping bags in their storage sacks so they stay nice and puffy. We're gonna try some of this tenacious tape. All right, it's not pretty, but I'll keep it from losing more feathers until summertime. Then I can send it into the company and have it fixed properly. Oh, there's so much bits of bacon and breadcrumbs in here. Well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed filming it. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. We'll see you guys then. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.